What up, dog? What up, dog? Ant dog back with another video. And uh, I wanted to, you know, let y'all know uh, um, how my love for hip hop got started. You know what I'm saying? Uh, where to begin, you know what I'm saying? The tracks I heard and all of that good stuff. So, you know what I'm saying? I just wanted to let y'all know how it all started for me. So, yeah, that's how I get into it. So, uh, basically, you know, I was born in 1988. So, uh, when I really understood, you know, like what music was, you know what I'm saying? I think I was about five, six years old. So, that's 1994. So, around that time, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Death Row Records was running shit, you know what I'm saying? And also, The Brat was very popular, you know what I'm saying? And uh, Let Me Ride by Dr. Dre was one of the first records I heard, you know what I'm saying? And uh, with The Brat, it was uh, Funkify and Give It To You. The video version, not the, uh, the album version, but the video version, you know what I'm saying? When she had JD, Biggie, and everybody in the video, that version, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, I, you know, that's when I started to nod my head, and you know what I'm saying? I understood what hip hop and rap was, you know what I'm saying? And uh, around that time, my whole family lived together. Cause my grandma and grandfather had a big crib, you know what I'm saying? So everybody lived together. Me and my mom, my auntie and her uh, two kids at the time, another uncle and auntie of mine, and you know, like my grandma and uh, grandfather, you know what I'm saying? We all lived together once upon a time. And uh, my auntie, my favorite auntie, is uh, real big on hip hop. So around that time, you know what I'm saying? She was listening to everything, you know what I'm saying? Hip hop and her favorite artist is Rakim. So uh, I think about a year or so later, you know, I'm really, really, really starting to get into it. Uh, I remember when Rakim dropped Guess Who's Back. You know what I'm saying? That was one of my favorite songs. I'm like, this shit hard. And that, like I said, that's my auntie favorite rapper. So that's how I knew uh, about Rakim and who it was. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, so yeah, you know, when every time I got a couple dollars, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I was always one of those kids, you know what I'm saying? Taking my money to the record stores, you know what I'm saying? Sam Goody was very popular at the time. Kmart, you know what I'm saying? I was always one of those kids spending all my money on cassette tapes and CDs. I didn't get into records to honestly about four years ago, 2018. That's when I got into records, you know what I'm saying? But I was always into cassette tapes and CDs, you know what I'm saying? So every dollar I got, you know what I'm saying? I would always get a cassette tape or a CD, you know what I'm saying? I was even shopping with the bootleg man. You know what I'm saying? Everybody in the city of Detroit know that uh, one of the locations niggas used to always sell bootleg DVDs and CDs. You know what I'm saying? Cassette tapes was uh, right there on Grand River and uh, La Losser right there by uh, the, a the uh, ATM. You know, the walk-up ATM, you know what I'm saying? That was one of the spots I would always go to. I would always pull up there in the afternoon and I would see my mans and you know, I would uh, you know, shop with them, you know what I'm saying? Oh for 20. And by me doing it so much, he would, even, he would always show me love. You know what I'm saying? He'd give me an extra one, you know what I'm saying? Five for 20, you know? In, uh, in the barber shop, you know what I'm saying? DVD, CD man come through, you know what I'm saying? My dad, you know, be there, here man, here you go, $15, get you three CDs, you know what I'm saying? I was always that kid, you know what I'm saying, doing that. And uh, yeah, bro, like I said, uh, Dr. Dre, the brat, Tupac, of course, you know what I'm saying? One of the first Tupac records I heard was uh, My Homie Calls. All Eyes on Me was a major part of my uh, upbringing, you know what I'm saying? So that's how it all started, man. You know, I, like I said, then, uh, you know, elementary school, No Limit Records was hot, you know what I'm saying? So, like, a lot of the records and cassette tapes, CDs, I mean, CDs and cassette tapes I was buying was basically everything by No Limit. I would slide a little, you know, other shit here and there in. But my main shit was No Limit. Like, I'm a real huge No Limit fan. Like, I love No Limit Records. You know what I'm saying? Like, Master P is my favorite artist. True is my favorite group. No Limit Records is my favorite record. Like, like I love No Limit Records. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, those were the records I was, uh, cassette tapes and stuff I was buying at the time. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm real huge on No Limit. And, uh, yeah, you know, so that's, that's, that's my story, man. Like I said, uh, a lot of my family, you know, they took the uh, sports route or they was into this and that and the third, you know what I'm saying? But I just was in, into music. 
I was always the kid with my headphones on, you know what I'm saying? I kept a Walkman, I, could, I kept a cassette tape player. I was always one of them type of kids, you know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't care about nothing else. Basketball was my first love, but for the most part, it's like I was cheating on basketball because I just loved music that much, you know what I'm saying? Like, basketball was just some chick on the side, like Biggie said in uh, Notorious, you know what I'm saying? But I always stayed with music. Like, that. that's my first love and always will be. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, I just really appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? I loved it, and that's where it started for me. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, man, that's my story, you know. But, uh, yeah, like, comment, share, subscribe, man. Let me know y'all's story, how y'all got into music. But, uh, yeah, I love y'all. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Big dog, biggest dog of them all. Your dog is out.